Oh, hey, didn't see you there. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, just got off work, got home about 15 minutes ago. I don't know, either going to Watermelon Pond or I'm going to Lake Wahlberg again. I usually go to Wahlberg. Might try something different and go to Watermelon. Don't know yet. We'll find out. What do you want, people? I just heard an alligator growl somewhere behind me. I doubt I have an issue, but... Got one. Looks like it's a decent size. I'm trying to keep pressure. I'm trying to keep some pressure. Come on. Just get tired. Don't jump. Don't jump. Come on, baby. Oh, it's a decent one. No! Oh my god, man. I can't believe this. I just lost a four pounder. Had to, three and a half, four pounder. Four pounder had to be four pounds. Man, that was a nice fit. I can't believe this. Almost had it in the boat and everything, and it tossed the hook at the last second. I had a good hook set and all that, man. I should have wore it out more. Oh, man. That's my frustrations out here. That right there. That was such a nice fish. I can't believe that. Man, I tear through these baits like it's nothing. Remember how I said I heard a gator growling? Well, now it just came popping up out of the grass, and I see it over there. It's a pretty big gator. Probably about 8 to 10 foot. It's a big one. So, you know, what I was doing is I was throwing up in here. I'm... I hit this spot up because it's different. It's a lot different than a lot of these other spots out here. You know, sure, there's grass, everything, but there, this tree overhanging, shade stays here for longer in the morning and everything. That's the whole reason I'm hitting this. But I was throwing all up in there, and I've only been here for a little bit, not very long. Throwing up in there, didn't get hit. Got it out to the edge of the grass. I felt some ticks, some real light ticks. And then, boom, you know, uh, the fish was on obviously you know how that ends but that was the same thing like whenever i caught my pb that same type of bait the same exact bait and everything same setup just different color <coughs> same exact thing just a couple ticks real light ticks and then felt some tension set the hook boom big giant alligator about a big eight nine footer over there sizing me up he's like patrolling the area that i just left so hopefully it keeps them distracted. I think it's chilling down there though. I think it's the same one I see a lot that usually patrols a different area. I think it don't find a new spot. 
it's setting up a franchise. It done. It was at that point over there. And now it's over at this point that way, and you know, it, everything is renovating this, you know, spot over here, and it's gonna rent it out. I don't. Know. I don't know what's going on. What's the deal with people for real? See this? This wasn't here whenever I left. Whenever I put in Oreos, was not here. Seriously, watch this. Oh, oh man. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, it's so hard. Oh. Now I understand why people can't do this. Because it's just so hard. Oh. oh, man. It's just right there. Quick little trip right there. Oh, man. It's too much. Oh, my bad. Am I disturbing you? That's it. What's up everybody? This is uh Corey right huh? Stebo, obviously. If you don't know me, well whatever dude. But um we're out here at Lake Wahlberg trying to catch some panfish, some brown speck, whatever we can do, whatever we can make happen. Hopefully not a bowfin or like a gar, whatever, but you know what I'm saying? That's what we're out here for, so stay we're tuned. Really attacked right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag triggered. <laughs> like a, a nice two pounder two well huh? two and a half to three Stealing my kids. I caught you on camera. It's all right here. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Nice. Nice. All right. What color are you using? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, they can't go that. wrong. Oh, oh yeah. That's a nice. Woo! Nice. That's a five. Oh yeah, easy. That's a five. Come on. That's easy. It might even be a six. Mind if I put you on my YouTube yeah, channel? Yeah, dude. <laughs> there you go. 
Yeah, that's a nice fish. Yeah, it'll get you going, won't it? <laughs> yeah. The heart starts oh, going. It's pounding. Three. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I'll put it on my YouTube channel. Yeah. So you just threw in an alligator. <laughs> Yeah, they're aggravating. I would eat them too. Yeah, I wouldn't go around telling people it. Yeah, I'm gonna get this guy. Yeah, I got pliers. There you go, self-releasing. This is gonna be a YouTube video about you guys out here fishing. <laughs> you know, never mind me over here. That was another Cinco. Yep. That was a nice little one. Good. Hey, y'all catching the whole family. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got a fin? No. My air fell off. Oh, easy. Trusty crankbait. Boom. That was nice. I'd eat it. Gotta go get my crankbait and try to hit this here rock patch. <laughs> Probably get it stuck. <laughs> now, for real, there's a spot right over there uh, that I've lost a bunch of these. Yeah, I've even thrown Texas rig stuff over there and got it stuck in the same spot, and it just, you just. I don't know what I call it a troll because he just can't it ain't coming back <laughs> I've almost flipped my canoe trying to you know yank it out of there you done found a school of them <laughs> hey y'all don't like Sharon huh <laughs> <You don't. laughs> yeah she's whooping everybody <laughs> Right? She didn't want to tell you either. It's the first time she's caught bass. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's fun, ain't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually getting hooked into them and everything. It's addicting. Nice. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Tell your friends. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Y'all make me want to call out of work and just go hop in the canoe and start hitting the edges. Yeah. 
Yeah, you'll be all right without me. <laughs> yeah, call out, tell him my arm's in a cast. Like old Carl. <laughs> Crankbait back. One treble hook. Sorry I talked all that mess about you. Yeah, there we go. Alright, woohoo! Whatever. I fished out my own crankbait that I just backlashed out into the water and lost. <laughs> fished it out with the Cinco, you know. Cinco's catch everything. <laughs> we came out here to go pan fishing. Caught one pan fish. Corey lost a bow fin. Which whatever, then things can, uh, you know, go and get. But uh, yeah, this couple came out there and just crushed it. <laughs> We're out there trying to pan fish. They come out there bass fishing, just catching them left and right. And they caught some good ones too. Nice five pounder, um, a couple three pounders, another one that was like two pounds. There was some really nice looking fish. Obviously though, you already seen it, but appreciate you and stay tuned. I have uh, another video coming here in about a week probably at the most I didn't lose the bow fin it's self-released I love fishing offshore but I ain't salty all right I went out there to pan fish that's my story I'm sticking to it all right so what if this couple just randomly shows up catches a whole bunch of big bass and puts me to shame because there ain't no shame so I was going pan fishing all right pan fishing not bass fishing so what if i was throwing a bait caster out there hoping if i caught a bass but it ain't the same not the same whatever don't judge me and action what up, what's everybody? up everybody what he said <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Take three. All right. You got to do the thing. Your hand eats the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, man.